The pressure continues to mount for State Senator Bill Kintner from Papillion to step down. Two weeks ago, he admitted to using a state-issued computer to engage in cyber sex with a woman he met on Facebook. Thursday, the day before the executive board is set to meet on the matter, the Speaker of the Legislature made his strongest comments yet. If that's the only way we could keep this from going forward to next year, I would vote to have a special session. Senator Galen Hadley believes outgoing senators like himself have an obligation to take care of the situation that occurred on their watch. He says the $75,000 cost to impeach, expel, or censure Kintner now would be worth the cost. I weigh that against the potential disruption of next year. Wednesday, Hadley and Governor Pete Ricketts sent Kintner this letter, again urging him to resign immediately. They say if done before September 8th, Kintner would have the chance to place his name on the November ballot if he got 1,300 signatures. It gives him a chance to prove that his constituents are willing to give him another chance. It would take either the governor or 33 senators to call a special session. The executive board on its own could consider stripping away funding for Kittner's office and staff, but Hadley says that might be going down a dangerous path. I think that would be uh, a court case in the making. Kittner had no comment Thursday. Playing. A staff person says nothing has changed I regarding were, his decision to stay in I office. Be, I will not be resigning. We should clean up the problem, and I'm leaning toward doing all we can. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.